Welcome back to another cluster repair video. In this one, I am expecting another self-repair attempt cluster. Um, I believe this is it. It's got the, the signs of uh, someone being in there. It's always easy to tell by the uh, fingerprints all over the gauge face. Um, now this is another cluster, another 07, um, with the display issue. Uh, the driver info and gear select display uh, issue on this one here is what we're dealing with today. I'm just going to power it up before I get too far. <clears throat> so it has life, that's good. Uh, at least we know the processor is still in one piece. Uh, so yep, yeah, no displays. Uh, needles are a little wonky, but that's okay because it's got to come apart. Uh, let's open it up and see what we have to deal with. Uh, this, this customer sent me pictures beforehand, and uh, it's got the typical uh, blown up MOSFET and damaged foil because when these when that component gets too hot, it kind of welds itself to the foil and then it gets all ripped up when you try to remove it. Yeah, so that's right in there is what we're going to be dealing with in this video. Um, I also see, see if we can get that. The diode has split, so I'll be replacing that. Check out that 100 ohm resistor likes to take some abuse. I'm going to look at that and look at that. We have some blowing open foil. Got some foil hanging. I wonder if uh, maybe he accidentally caused a short and that's what caused the excessive current. Under normal conditions when this blows out it usually doesn't take out the diode and usually doesn't blow open foil. Uh, normally what happens is the MOSFET shorts out and then um, it'll just blow itself open and then the drama's over and that's that's the way it sits, but this one is a little bit more damaged than normal. Uh, it's kind of nice about having a lab power supply for doing the testing as you can limit the current. You know, I can set it to one amp max, so that way if stuff bad happens, it doesn't destroy a bunch of other things. But if you plug it back in your dashboard, it's probably on a 15 amp circuit, so uh, bad things happen if they're shorts. Uh, anyways... I'm going to get started here with uh, just doing some checking around. Uh, what I usually like to do is check the condition of the gate resistor because that usually tells me how far back the damage has gone. It's supposed to be 100 ohms. It's this little guy right in here. Solder joints took some abuse. So there's definitely been some heat in there, but it's still, oops, see if I can get that back on there again. Still 100 ohms. It's a good sign. Hopefully the driver chip won't need to be replaced. Uh, there are some, I believe these are shunt resistors. That also can take some abuse. They're just a very low ohm resistor. So far those have not burnt open, so that's good. Um, let's check the diode just for the heck of it here, huh? Get this in diode mode. Uh, this diode's cracked right down the middle. I'm not expecting much from it, but somehow it still has a half a volt drop across it. It's still working as a diode. Uh, it's pretty amazing because it's, it's split. See if you can get that in the camera. The diode split right open. <clears throat> so I'm going to get go ahead and get started with patching this thing up and <laughs> see if it can be saved.
Okay, so patched up the blown foil on the back, and I had to do some, uh, uh, I suppose you call it reconstructive surgery there on the MOSFET because its pad was never coming back again, so I just relocated it on the leg of the transformer. Uh, this middle pin is tied to the tab, which is tied to the leg of the transformer. That's why I can leave that one open. Uh, I replaced the 100 ohm because it was nasty. Um, if this works, then I'm going to replace this busted diode, but uh, this diode's still a diode for now. I'm just going to do a test here and see if it goes up in smoke or if it works. So let me power up my power supply and see if it blows smoke or if it works. Uh, holy crap, it works. Hmm. Well, all right. Uh, let's put a new diode on. All right, and here it is with the new diode. So it's uh, be a good idea for me to let this run for a little while, let it uh, heat up, make sure the repair is going to hold. But uh, yeah, so let's see. We had to do a patch of foil, replace the resistor, replace the MOSFET, new diode, and uh, it's looking good. So we'll let this uh, run for a bit, throw it back together. All right, so this job is done. And uh, just so you guys know, it is possible to take one of these apart and service it without getting fingerprints all over the gauge face. Uh, this is that textured plastic, so once you get the oils in there, it's really hard to get it up. But ah, uh, that's it. So uh, hey, thanks for watching.